Learn how to edit your 360 photo to remove your tripod or shadows from your 360 photo. I'll show you three ways to do it. We'll learn how to edit the 360 photo in the phone with Snapseed or other apps, as well as the desktop with Photoshop. I'll also show you a cheaper alternative to Photoshop. Hey guys, so the other day I posted a photo of me on a hammock. It was a 360 view, but the camera and the tripod were invisible. So here's how to do it. I got the um, Insta 361 here. And I have this um, selfie stick tripod, the Benro MK10. Extend the selfie stick. And then I keep it there between my legs. And that's why my legs were crossed in that shot. So it looks like a hands-free uh, shot with an invisible camera. Shadow is kind of distracting. So here's how to edit it and how to remove the shadow and if you have a tripod this will also work for that so i'm going to go back to my um, gallery and i'm going to send this to an app called um, theta converter it's sometimes called edit 360 it's available for both ios and android um, convert tap on normal click on ok uh, we're going to rotate the image. The point is that the nader is in the middle of the photo. That way it would be easier to edit. From here, I'm going to click on save. The nader is now in the middle of the photo. So we're going to edit this using a Snapseed or other apps like Retouch. So I'm going to use Snapseed right now. Share to Snapseed. Um, and Snapseed has a healing tool. Go to Tools. Um, and go to healing and we're going to uh, zoom in so we can um, edit it more easily and then I'm going to like erase the shadows like that and like that press ok press done then it's going to save the photo the shadows gone um, now I'm going to uh, rotate it again um, by sharing it again to edit 360. I'm going to tap on convert, normal, um, and then we're going to rotate it downward back to uh, the original uh, orientation. And we'll press save. And here's the new photo. Shadows gone and this camera looks invisible. So, all right, I showed you the mobile uh, way to do it. Now you can also do it on the desktop. I'm going to show you first that on uh, Photoshop, and I'll show you a different software that's a little cheaper. Uh, so here on Photoshop, I'm going to duplicate the layer, duplicate layer. All right, then go click on uh, 3D spherical panorama, new panorama layer. Just going to convert it to a 360 view. So now you can look around the 360 photo. We're going to look at that shadow. Uh, I'm going to use the spot healing brush tool. I'm going to uh, paint over this. And watch it disappear. Uh, when we're done, go to 3D Spherical Panorama. Export Panorama. Let's call this Edited. And Here's the photo without the shadow. So um, Photoshop is kind of expensive. So another alternative is Affinity, which I'm going to show you right now. It's really very similar. Uh, so in Affinity, you switch to the 360 view by going to uh, Layer, uh, Live Projection, Eric Equirectangular Projection. And now it's in 360 view. Um, uh, go to the shadow and we look for their editing tool which is in painting brush tool here and we're gonna go uh, paint over it and watch it do its magic and when it's done uh, go to uh, layer uh, light projection uh, remove projection so then we go file um, or export okay export let's call it um, affinity let's view it on GoPro VR and it's also gone so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial now figure this one out
No post-processing, by the way.